Yep, that's the final story. Uh, there's, the last, there's the last story time. Hey. Oh, here we go. Yep. So that's our post game. So, let's see. Yes. Okay. Here we just go in now. And, yep. Yeah, we have a crown now. Which, yeah, which means the game's over. Yeah. Yeah, 15 stars left. Well, welcome back. I knew you would return eventually. <laughs> Please look down at your feet. Yes. This number you see represents the number of power stars you need to access another world. Notice that it's in green. Mm. Whether you succeed or fail, just attend a challenge will show something about your character. Yes. So yeah, the, basically you get purple co Oh, yeah. More lives, I guess. Um, oh, right, yeah, because we did, like, have to go do the file select. Um, yeah, so basically, after you fight, uh, do the fi final battle fight, that activates the purple comets. So, yeah, this star count could be, like, a lot um, larger. Temp um, depending on when you do that. But yeah, basically we just so the had first one should be here, right? Yeah. Yeah, I looked at the map. By the way, I asked this in um, the chat, but isn't- didn't they actually use the- the credits theme in Smash Brothers? I think. But yeah, I- I guess talking about that real quick, um, I really love the credits theme. It- I'm still partial to the 64 one, personally. That's still my favorite credits theme of all time. I- you... Mario Worlds is my favorite credits. Yeah, you, yeah, you'd really- you'd have to do- You'd have to try really hard to beat 64s for me. It's I'll, I'll admit, a lot of it is due to nostalgia because, like, just listening to that theme, like, honestly makes, like, honestly, like, uh, makes me tear up sometimes. So, I just have a lot of attachment to it. But the Galaxy, in terms of just, um, it, I guess if I wanted to say, like, um, which one is, um, the better like, score, I guess, objectively speaking, if you want to call it that. I I would definitely say Galaxy, because I think it's just really well put together. And it, it sounds like it's the credits to a movie. Like, it's really well done. Yeah. I, mean, I, I love credits games that, like, uh, do that. I'm trying to think of another one that comes to mind. But, but, but. I can't think of games off the top of my head, but... Oh! Um... Wind Waker! Yeah, I, I guess so. Yeah, I, uh, that's one of the credit scenes that comes to mind. Um, I, I'm not sure if I'd say that sounds like the end of a movie, but I do like that theme as it is. It's um, one of my favorite credit themes in Zelda. Yeah, if we don't, yeah, in terms of Zelda credits themes, I think the Skyward Sword one sounds pretty movie credits. Hmm. Um, but you know, uh. So anyways, purple coins. They're, uh, it's a collector fund. Get a hundred of them. <laughs> yeah, so we didn't have any of the, um, hundred coin missions throughout the game. So this is basically the game's replacement of those. But they're a lot more, um, like, what should we call it? They're a lot more controlled, I guess. Where, like, there's missions like this where it's just go around a specific area to get a hundred of them. And then there's some of them that are, like, a time challenge. And those tend to be the hardest stars in the game, so that's going to be interesting how that goes. <laughs> yeah, the the two in the terrace are like just collector fun ones, so just kind of relaxing. Stroll. Wait until we get to the real challenge. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. Right now it's just basically a casual stroll through these planets. I I could be wrong, but I think it's um the like Good Egg Galaxy is always programmed to be the first one that's available, so it's like trying to ease you into how these work. But yeah. Yeah, we've been hogging the, the sp spotlight for a few minutes, so did you, do you have anything to add to any of what we just talked about, Scrappy? I went down to get nachos, what'd you say? <laughs> uh, okay, well, first off, we were talking about uh, the, the credits theme. Do you have anything? Uh, what? What do you? How? What is your opinion on the credits theme? I guess. My opinion on like this game itself: disgusting. <laughs> Nine out of ten. 
<laughs> Good. Um. Also, that pill-shaped planetoid in Gobek Galaxy. I know someone made a cake of that and sent it, sent a picture of it to Nintendo Power once. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, yeah, I was to I've been talking about this as well, but this is like what I've been talking about with the go around to the different domes constantly. This is what I was talking about because the purple comet for Honey Hive wasn't available, so we had to go somewhere else, and that just kind of you kind of just have to deal with that, like. Um, um you know, we just have all Oh wait, options. oh wait, which one's in the garden? <laughs> garden. I don't know, let me see. No <laughs> Are you ready to go to Saturday Universe? <laughs> again? Do you wanna do it again? Mario, are you prepared to destroy the universe again? <laughs> yeah. Oh oh no, I don't wanna do that yet. Sea slide is a relaxing one, space jump uh mm. Space Jump Galaxy's purple comet involves you burning more trash to get the purple coins. I don't really want to do, like, any of these. Um... Oh, um, what's their dreadnought? Just get it out of the way. <laughs> okay, I was thinking Sea Slide for a relaxing one, but okay. Remember, Harry, well, you can't spell- Might as well get one of the hard ones out of the way now. Mm. Remember, Harry, you can't spell Dreadnought without Dread. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, I love Metroid. <laughs> yeah, I will say at least it does like they do like have like multiple purple comets at the same time, so it, it does give you the a lot of options. All right, let's do this. And now for the real challenge. Yeah. Yeah, th I remember this and Luigi's purple coins being some of the harder ones. Uh, well, that and the one in Haunty, not Haunty Halls, whatever it's called. I don't remember. I think Haunty Halls is Galaxy. Is it, is it 100 too. set coins? I forget. It's 100 set coins, so if you miss one of these, you, you may as well just kill yourself. Also, but now we get this song. Oh, yeah, this is a new track um, for uh, some the of the Purple Coin Challenges. The Purple yeah. Comet theme. Yeah, it's really good. It's remixed in the London, uh, not London, but like just the Olympics, Olympic Games in general. Uh, I, don't... I don't know if it's. I don't know if which one I like more. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is a really good. I wish I would. I wish I would put the Olympics arrangements in Smash. That would be at least better oh, than just. Oh the... yeah, right. Seriously, I'd love to hear like uh, their version. I'd like uh, their version of like uh, Crazy Gadget if it's not like if it's not if it's not even is really good. <laughs> yeah, I'd prefer that uh, over having like no Sonic remixes. <laughs> There you go, like, you really can't waste any time with this. Eh, get up there. I think. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Yeah, the stupid thwomp, like. Eh! Oh, oh, gosh. Yeah, I love how they, like, they put a purple coin, like, inside the thwomp so you, like, you're forced to just wait. <laughs> oh. It's so dramatic, I love it. Yeah. Who mm. smeared grape jelly on? Wait, what? Grape jelly? Oh, Mario. Ah, ah! Confused. Yes. Um, I, should have, I, I should have brought the nachos up with me. Tuh, oh my god. Oh god. Fast, like fast. Gotta go fist! Alright, we're back on track. I will say, um, if you. Don't worry if you have like 99 coi coins by the end. by when you get to the launch star, because there's just one more coin. In when you like get launched. How nice of them. It just matters that you gather all the ones that on the way. Yeah, it's basically just the game trying to give you a heart attack. I got, I got trauma from Crash Wars Crate Counter. <laughs> God. No! <gasps> Damn it! 
I didn't. I, was gonna... I saw you do that. I'm like, that's not gonna end well. Mm. I feel it's gonna take a while. I'm gonna go get some nachos. Yeah, you do that. <laughs> I do have um one thing to talk about that I've been holding on for a little while, but I'll I'll talk about it when he gets back. But other than that, I yes, Scrappy, yes, Scrappy does not have enough stilly in order to parse these anymore. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Someone has to tell him. What? Mario, stop going in the circle. I'm not telling you to do that. Okay. Oh, yeah, I... Don't die. I guess it is, um, I mean, it's obvious, because you can see the, see it, Mario, what are you doing? Uh, yeah, but, like, the purple coins don't, um, heal you. Did I get all, I can't even tell what I've oh, gotten. You're, you're, oh, you died. Damn it, dude. I can try, dang it! Ow. Well, at least they keep giving us a one-up early on, so... Although that's like, although that's also like doing something like, uh, like unleashed, I guess. <laughs> mm. Yeah. It's like if you know they're just giving you a one up for no reason. <laughs> well, I mean, that's not even. Well, that's just kind of stuff that happens in games in general. Like, usually, or not usually, but that. Okay. Um. Okay then. Yeah, that was weird. Um. Yeah. Um. That. That happens a lot. A uh, decent amount. Okay, uh, <laughs> where, like, you, you do, like, a difficult section and the game gives you a one-up every time. Um, that's kind of just been a thing. What is going on? I don't feel like living. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that that's just My something- My pockets are too full of coins! <laughs> <laughs> it, it, yeah, it's just something that happens, like, I don't, it, it's not really a, um, Thing that for a specific game it's just kind of standard. So I, I think I talked about this in Unleashed, but um, one thing that does kind of annoy me sometimes is that is when people do say, "Oh, they're using like one-ups um, right before sec like difficult sections as, as an excuse for level design," and I feel like that's really stupid because. Game it, Sonic is not the only series that does that. Mario games do that, as we can see here. So I feel like that's just really, a really dumb argument. I never liked that. Jump. Okay. We gotta move fast. Yeah, if you like mess up your timing on that, like, like do it. Or like get the food. Yeah, if you get the purple coins that are inside the thump, um, like a second later, you're just done. Mario. Mario. Yeah, I'm I trying. I'm trying. Yeah, it's best to just go like, act like this is a 2D section, D unless Mario wants to do that for some reason. <laughs> like, I'm not trying. I'm not trying to do any of that. No! Uh, uh, maybe talking about Sonic makes you play better. Scenic. I'd make a joke, obviously. Scenic 10. I mean, I guess um, this will give a little... Um, Gauge for when this is this was being recorded, but um, yeah, Frontiers. Mario, can you stop turning going in the circle, please? I'm not telling you to Did do he it. Float in the air for half a second. Yeah. Yeah. He keeps on like, going in circles. I'm not telling you to do that. I'm just telling you to like walk in one direction. Um. Mm. But yeah, I was just saying like Frontiers stuff has been shown off, and the uh, responses. Gameplay been... was a lot. Or battle was lot, combat that was the last thing they showed. Yeah, the res the reception has been a bit uh, questionable. <laughs> I, I mean, I will say they the combat looked at least looked a lot more interesting than what they showed the other day. But I mean, 
I'm still mm. a bit um, iffy on the game. I'm. It. I don't know. I'm I obviously gonna get day one anyways, but. I'm hoping it's good, cause good, good lord, we need a, a a new like good 3D Sonic, but you know. I'll just say this, if you, Sega, if you do legitimately need to delay the game to make it, like, actually good, do it. I, <laughs> I, I don't care, like, just, like, I, I don't, I don't want to wait, like, I don't want to have to wait, like, this long just to get a, another mediocre to bad game. I can't do that after forces burnt me so hard. No! Eh! I can't even- What happened? I didn't even grab the coin. Eh. Yeah, I can choose to start the move into this level. Tuh. So we, you don't, you really didn't miss much. Um. Whoa, is that? Yeah, I got close a few times, and I just kind of, like, I may. But some of these mistakes have been on me, but other times it's just Mario doing weird stuff where he just goes in a circle for no reason. I'm so dizzy. <laughs> I don't blame him, but come on. Yeah, okay. You should know how much you should know how disorienting is going up and down, up and down. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I so uh, yeah, since Scrappy's here, I can talk about this now. So yeah, this is something that I've um I've wanted to bring up, but I purposely like oh good. Um saved it until now because I I just felt like the purple coins were a good time to talk about it. But yeah, weird thing about this game and Galaxy 2 by extension. Red coins and blue coins are nowhere to be seen in these two games, and it's kind of when you like really think about that, that just feels really weird. I get why they aren't because there's just no reason for them to be here, but it's just one of those things where you just expect those like more so red coins than blue coins, but you just kind of expect that to be in a Mario game, and I haven't really thought about them not being here until recently, and it's kind of strange. They. Well, that's fine. Pardon me. Well, red and blue make purple, so I guess they fused. I guess so, yeah. Yeah, you, you get rid of the red and blue coins and you replace them with purple ones. Alright. All right. So we literally. Okay, if we got all the. Yeah, okay. So the last one should be through this launch tour. Okay. Okay, we got it. Scrappy, Scrappy was the good luck charm all along. Yeah. D I, I guess they wanted to just make this last bit dramatic. But yeah, if you... I'm pretty sure if you don't have all the coins, this stupid gear mode is just gonna kill you. <laughs> they, have, they have a safety mechanism. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you fucked up. Yes. Yeah. It... Uh, how many yeah. should we go for today? Because well, I, I doubt we're doing like, all of them. No, we're not. There's way too many for that. Three more. Um, I guess so. It depends on how long the others take. Okay. Yeah. Well, there's not one here. Okay. I wish there was an easier way to just open the map. I would. I kind of wish you didn't have to always go to the the center of the observatory. Alright, where to? Oh, Wait. there's only one. Oh, just, there's just one on the terrace. Okay. That's a simple one. Alright, cool. This one does take a bit because it's a big open area again, but at least it's nothing stressful. But yeah, I guess we can talk more about that whole coin thing. It's, um... Yeah, it's, it's interesting because, like, uh... The, um... I like how in, in Sunshine, the red coins were basically there for, uh... Using... Making more use of the, uh, of the level space, if you were just going for, like, a Bowser run. Because otherwise, like, if you weren't going for, like, all the blue coins in that game, um, a lot of space doesn't really get used as much, so... I think having those, look, I think the fact that Sunshine has a bunch of red coin missions makes sense because it's basically the game 
uh, given the game like, like it, it gives the game an excuse to make players explore the levels more. That for those that aren't going for hundred percent, which I like. And um, yeah, I get it. Like this game doesn't really need any of that. It doesn't need red coins or blue coins. So I, I get why they aren't in this game, but it's just you know, it's just kind of weird when you think about it. Sorry. Hmm. Yeah, I... Going back to this uh, uh, conversation, no, I don't... I don't... Did... I don't think you, uh, uh, you ended up, like, having an answer, Scrappy. Like, favorite to least favorite comments. Purple coins can get up there, in, in terms of, like, the ones I actually do like. Hmm. Oh, okay. But it's just like, the thing, it's like, uh, some purple coins just kind of piss me off. <laughs> yeah. I do like the challenge, but yeah, some of them can be, um, a bit like, hmm. Oh yeah, I get it. Other side. Is Crappy there? <laughs> he hasn't said anything for a while. Oh. I have food in my mouth. Oh, sorry. No. I guess when you um, have a chance to talk, you can talk about comments. I could do that. <laughs> I was. Excuse me, I was spying off the purple coin missions so long as they weren't timed. Mm, yeah, that's fair. Yeah. Also, I think the majority of my hatred of them comes from Galaxy 2, actually. <laughs> yeah, I think, yeah, the, the I do remember some specific ones in Galaxy 2 being really difficult. And, um, yeah, that'll be interesting to see how that goes when that game happens. I got, um... I guess I appreciate them for being a being a means of like pardon me. I suppose I appreciate them for being a means of kind of just some gosh, bringing back that collectathon style to Mario. Even if this game isn't really built for it. So. Mm, yeah, I do like what like how they've structured it though like they've made it so the big levels have the go around an area and collect all of them without a timer and then there's the more difficult ones that are like timed in these like obstacle courses i do like how they've structured it i will say um and yet yeah they some of them can get really difficult but i will say i do think it's justified at this point in the game because this is post-game material okay, be but, hard. yeah but um yeah you are gonna be getting off easy so um yeah you are gonna be most likely dying a lot to to some of these so um i can't see where i'm jumping also 69 lol god damn it i wanted to make the joke first yeah <laughs> Man, now I got nothing else. I'm gonna leave the call. No, don't do that. <laughs> I'm We're grown up. Yeah. So I guess at this point, I I pretty much burn all commentary for this game. Now I can't really think of anything we haven't discussed. So I think at this point it's just um, talk about random nonsense. <laughs> uh. I'm trying to think. Yeah, I don't know. Um. What's recent that we can talk about? I mean, we did bring up the Sonic stuff, but I don't know. I mean, well, oh, speaking of recent stuff, actually, there is the state of play that happened, if you want, want to talk about that. Oh, yeah. Did you guys see Spider -Man that? Spider-Man the P PC. Mm. Did you How see about that? Yeah. Um, I'm... Scrap, did you see it? Yeah. Hello? 
Oh, he's probably still eating. Yeah, probably. I got a heart. Did you hear what we said? Yes, I did. I just... I didn't watch the state of play. I just watched uh, Street Fighter Six's trailer. Mm, yeah, I, I didn't watch the state of play itself my, myself. Um, I just saw... Um, like... What, what is it? I, I kind of just skimmed through it and I watched the Street Fighter Six trailer with um, Lewis and Aaron. Um, yeah, that looks really cool. I, I, I like the look of the game so far. Um, it lo looked like there was like some open world kind of stuff going on, which is, as far as I'm aware, new to Street Fighter. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna pretend I know anything about the series, but you know, I, I am, it, I am actually interested in trying it. Like I, I've never like bought a uh, Street Fighter game before. I've only played four, um, and I say that loosely because I've only played like what, f like two matches <laughs> or something. But yeah, this is the first tr Street Fighter game where I'm actually kind of interested in uh, getting it for myself. But we'll see. I don't know what it's available on. PS4, PS5, PC, Xbox Series X. Okay. Okay. I want to get the coin. I'm not going back. I don't want to loop around again. Why can't we just done that to get up the slope? <laughs> Actually, I wonder. Can I do the trick for this? No. Okay, it doesn't work. I guess the slide. It only works when you're in mid slide. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Yeah, what do you think about what? What did you think about Street Fighter Six, Scrappy? I think I should finish eating first. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably a good idea. 